back to easy cooking so today I'm going to be showing you how to make another Chinese inspired dish I'm going to be showing you how to make a glass noodle stir fry really easy to make the preparation time and the cooking time combined is going to be less than 30 minutes so I hope you enjoyed this video let's get started remember you'll find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe let's get started we will start by seasoning the shrimp so place it in a bowl and season it with half a teaspoon of minced garlic and half a teaspoon of minced ginger also adding one tablespoon of soy sauce salt to taste and ground white pepper to taste toss all together so the shrimp will be well seasoned and then marinate this for at least 10 minutes in the refrigerator now to make the sauce in a bowl combine the oyster sauce with the soy sauce and the fish sauce also adding two tablespoons of water or vegetable broth then stir together until well combined and then season this with a teaspoon of sugar and a pinch of ground white pepper stir once again until combined and then set this aside until you're ready to use it now cook the noodles according to the instructions on the package I'm using fresh noodles, so I'll just cook them in boiling water for about 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure you don't overcook them because if you do, they will be really sticky and disgusting. So once they are cooked, drain them and rinse them with cold water to stop the cooking process. And I'm going to add some ice cubes in there just to stop the cooking process completely. Like I said, I'm using fresh noodles and they tend to overcook really fast. That's why I'm going to be adding the ice cubes. After that, use some kitchen scissors to cut the noodles a couple times so they won't be too long and they will be easier to eat. And then just set them aside until you're ready to use them. Now in a wok, heat up one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And once the oil is nice and hot, add in the shrimp and cook it for about three minutes or until it changes in color. As soon as the shrimp gets a pinkish kind of color, remove it from the wok. And now in the same wok, in whatever oil is left from cooking the shrimp, now we're going to cook the eggs, we're going to scramble them, and just cook them until they are well cooked. Once the eggs are done, remove them from the wok and place them together with the shrimp, and just set them aside until you're ready to use them. Now in the same wok, now we're going to add another tablespoon of oil and now we're going to stir fry the onion for about one minute, just to soften it a little bit. After a minute or so, add in the garlic and the ginger and stir fry this for about 30 seconds, just so the garlic and the ginger will start releasing its flavor. After 30 seconds, add in the carrots and stir fry for another 30 seconds just to soften the carrots a little bit. After that, add in the bell peppers and stir fry them for about 2 minutes or until the vegetables have your desired texture. And I like my vegetables to be nice and crisp, so I only cook them for about 2 minutes. If you want them to be softer, feel free to cook them for about 4 minutes instead. Season the vegetables with a pinch of salt just a tiny pinch of salt to give them some flavor and then push everything to the sides of the wok to leave an empty space in the middle of the wok and right in there in the empty space add in the noodles and then season them with the soy sauce mixture toss together so the noodles will be well seasoned and then combine them with the rest of the ingredients give it a quick toss and then add in the bean sprouts also add in the shrimp and the scrambled eggs Stir together for one more minute, then taste the flavor and add more soy sauce if needed. You can also add more salt if needed. Then add in the green onions and continue to stir fry for about one or two more minutes or until everything is well heated through. And once everything is well heated through, you're ready to serve. And this is how it looks. As you can see, it's a beautiful dish, very colorful and it smells delicious. Garnish with more green onions and that's it. Enjoy! 
and some other delicious recipes please don't forget to visit my blog the link is going to be down below and remember you also find me on facebook on twitter on instagram on pinterest i'm everywhere so all the links are going to be down below if you want you can check them out and of course don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye